First Kings chapter 17, and I will read in your hearing. The Bible reads, Now Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the settlers of Gilead, said to Ahab, As the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, before whom I stand, surely there shall be neither dew nor rain these years, except by my word. The word of the Lord came to him, saying, Go away from here and turn eastward and hide yourself by the brook Kerith, which is east of Jordan. It shall be that you will drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. Elijah proclaims a drought before the king. And in no time, the angel of the Lord comes to him and tells him, you need to run away from this place. I want you to go eastward, east of Jordan. So you need to cross the Jordan River when you look at the geography and go and hide by the brook Kerith. Why wouldn't God hide him closer to the Jordan? Because those who have read this issue or this story before, the river is going to dry up. But when you look at the, at the Jordan River, it's a perennial river, so he was going to get abundance of water. So if I was Elijah, probably I was going to say, no, 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 God, I'm not going to carry it. I am going to camp right here close by the Jordan. But I want to mention to you, dear friends, that there was no divine appointment at Jordan. The divine appointment was exactly at Kerith. Small as it was, but that's where God was going to provide for him. Small as it was, that's where God was going to dwell with him. Small as it was, that's where the protection exactly was. There are many divine appointments. There are many places that God has put us onto. But the problem with the brothers and the sisters of today, we move from the position of blessing just because we think that it is greener a little bit further. Go and ask Lot and, and, and Abraham. The Bible says after they strife amongst their headmen, then Abraham says, please go your way. I'll go my way, but choose which side you want to go. The Bible says Lot chose the plains that were greener, that were closer to Sodom. The next thing that we hear, the Bible says Lot camped his tent towards Sodom. Now the next chapter that you find, you don't hear anything. You hear God sending an entourage to go and remove Lot out of Sodom. The difference or the gap between towards Sodom and in Sodom is never mentioned. It is because, dear friends, you have moved from the position of blessing. You have camped towards Sodom. This is what we see here. If you go and camp at Jordan. When God has said your divine blessing is at Kerith, you are going to miss it.